All right, here we go, folks. Some names to look for this year, and these names are really new to me. I got to be honest with you. I just gathered some of these notes earlier today. Uh, Crawford in the backfield last year, 1,414 yards, 14 touchdowns. What's he bring to the table besides the total package? Just uh, he just brings a uh, uh, a sense of uh, a, a very good tailback with a lot of experience. And, uh, and matter of fact, we have our most experience on the team in the backfield with two returning fullbacks and three and two returning tailbacks and a sophomore tailback that'll be our third tailback. So you just got to be the leader of those five. All right, some of those names that'll be in that backfield with him, uh, Joe Brown and also Rodney James. Talk about these guys, senior, sophomore, respectively. Uh, uh, Joe Brown's also a senior. Uh, got injured last year, uh, uh, really hurt himself on a kickoff return. And uh, Rodney James is a sophomore, but both of those have earned some uh, playing time in the backfield. Quarterback, I got banged up last year. He had to compete for the job this year, but he's made it through Randy Mitchell. Uh, Randy was our starter last year when the season he broke his foot against uh, Penn Hills and uh, returned back, I think, maybe the ninth game as a defensive player, but uh, we didn't use him on offense. And uh, he and uh, Kate Cunningham uh, took turns this summer. Uh, and both of them play, but Randy will be the starter. Okay, talk to me about Isaiah McCartney, your tight end. Isaiah McCartney, along with uh, Brandon Kinney and uh, – uh, th those two will be the tight end. Uh, 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 Howarth also uh, started against Penn Hills last year and broke his foot, and uh, was out. He was out the remainder of the year, uh, but uh, he's he, he'll be a competitor coming back. He'll play both tight end and X. McCartney will be our tight end along with Brandon Kinney. It's an honor to be here with Reno Suckage. Suckage, truly a legend in my book and in many people's minds as far as the Ohio Valley in football. Come back with a couple more. We're going to take a look at some of the guys up front next.